Hi, this is Marto. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Mark Taimanov and Yuri Nikolaevsky. This is a game from Soviet Union Championship, played in 1958. Mark Taimanov had white pieces and he started with d4. Yuri Nikolaevsky played knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to c3, d5, queen's gambit declined, knight to f3, bishop to e7, bishop to g5, Nikolaevsky castled kingside, e3, this is the popular main line, knight from b to d7, queen to c2, c6, rook to d1, if bishop to d3, then d takes on c4 and the bishop must move again. So we have rook to d1, rook to e8, a3, a6, bishop to d3, black to move, pawn takes pawn is the most played move, but Nikolevsky a different idea. He played h6, waiting for bishop to f4, and now he played knight to h5. The idea is very simple, to capture white dark square bishop. But the way Taimano is handling this situation is very instructive. So instructive that this game ended in some chess books. Mm -hmm. White to move, bishop to e5, and Nikolaevsky happily captured the bishop. Mission accomplished. Black got what he wanted. But he had no idea that bishop was just a pussycat in comparison with the knight that is taking his place. Just watch this knight. D takes on c4. White to move. We have reached the most critical position of the game. What would you do? Please pause the video and find the best move for white. Did you pause? Did you find this epic move? Bishop takes on c4. What a surprise. Just kidding. This is not the move. Well, Nikolaevsky was counting on this variation and then he would simply play knight to f6. But there was a surprise. Tamanov didn't capture the pawn. He played something else. And that was bishop to h7, check, king to f8. If king goes to h8, then knight takes on f7, shahmat. So we have king to f8, white to move. How would you continue to attack? Tamanu played the best move. Bishop to g6, what a move. f takes on g6, what else? If knight to f6, Bishop takes on f7 and white is winning. f takes on g6. Queen takes on g6, threatening. Queen to f7, checkmate. King to g8. And now white plays an obvious move. What is an obvious move? Hmm? Is it queen takes knight? No. Knight to f7, attacking the queen and more. If queen takes knight, then rook to f8, and black would get a chance to catch a breath. So we have knight to f7 attacking the queen, queen to d7, knight takes pawn on h6 check, king to h8, knight to f7 check again, what a monster knight, king to g8, knight to e5 attacking the queen, queen to d8. Queen to f7 check, king to h7, and queen takes knight with check, king to g8, knight to g6, bishop to f6, knight to e4, b5, white to move, how would you continue to attack? Manu played the best move, h4, intending knight to g5, bishop to d7, this was the idea, if something like a5, knight to g5, threatening checkmate, bishop must take, and then 
check, king to f7, knight to e5 check, king to e7, queen takes on g7 check, and white is winning. Back to our game. Bishop to d7 was played. White played the move and black resigned. What would you do? Well, knight to g5 was possible. It was possible, but even better is the move played in the game. Black resigned. There is no sensible way to stop queen to h8, checkmate. Even after check, king to f1. Next is queen to h8, checkmate. What a brilliant attack by Mark Tamanov. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.